Today, it's your voice, your vote. And for Mitt Romney, the campaigning is not over yet. He will stop, as I said, in both Ohio and Pennsylvania after voting from his hometown, Belmont, Massachusetts, this morning. That's where ABC's David Muir is right now. Good morning, David. Hey there, George. It's hard to believe the day has finally arrived, but as you can see here behind me, the line forming here in Belmont, Massachusetts, the hometown of Mitt Romney. He and his wife, Anne, will be here shortly to cast their votes. They were campaigning, George, as you mentioned, straight up until the midnight hour last night, and we were right there beside the governor as he was embraced, literally hugged by supporters, welcoming him home to New England. Just before midnight, Mitt Romney surrounded by thousands in New Hampshire, back where it all began. Capping a sprint to the finish overnight that started in Ohio with a grand entrance in a state where the stakes are outsized too. Shooting on my iPhone as the campaign plane pulled into this hangar in Columbus. We are going to do such an amazing thing on Tuesday, aren't we? Romney arguing he'll get started on day one. I'm not going to waste any time complaining about my predecessor. Then back to the plane. And while we were in the air with the governor, his interview on Monday Night Football. And a tough question. He's from Michigan, but was the governor of Massachusetts. So Lions or Patriots? Well, it is a New England Patriots, um, and I take personal full responsibility for their two Super Bowl wins. Meanwhile, 9.54, we land in Manchester, New Hampshire. Mitt and Ann Romney getting off the plane in a state where they have their summer home. Waiting for them, thousands. Kid Rock. Election Eve is one more concert from Kid Rock. For Mitt Romney. Rock! Then their final pitch. I have loved hearing the voices of the women that I've heard all across this country. Your votes and your work right here in New Hampshire will help me become the next president of the United States. Big hopes from the Romneys. They'll be voting here a short time from now. You can see the steady stream already headed in. And I've got to tell you, Elizabeth, so many voters glad the day is finally here to put the ads, the debates behind them. It's now up to them to decide this razor-thin election, Elizabeth. Oh, all right. They are happy to get those ads off the television. Thanks so much, David.